still is a blessing. Love and light, holy to hell. Still is a blessing. Love and light, holy to hell. Still is a blessing. Love and light, holy to hell. We're doing something different today, y'all. Than we normally be doing. You know, you got to switch it up. But the session that we're doing today is kind of long. So I ain't want to um, take up more time than necessary. By this time of the, by this time of the day, I assume that uh, everybody already in a, a highest meditative state possible. Um, the section for the day is called Ascended Masters. Um, as a disclaimer, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't embrace one thing or another. I, I just, I just embrace divinity. So I may use terms like Jesus, Buddha, or whatever, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever you exercise, you know, just, just, just go with what works for you. Anything else, discard. And on the, like I said, the section for the day is Ascended Masters from the ADK Loop, Law of Life. And we're on page 120. And Ascended Master is the full expression of life. So anybody wondering what ascended math, what, what that term means, it, it, uh, and you can look it up for your own uh, definition, but just some one, one simple one is an ascended master is the full expression of life. Every planet has a group of ascended masters governing it. Cosmic beings in their activity cover a great scope, a greater scope than the ascended masters do. Cosmic beings are those who govern cosmic forces or powers. Ascended masters are those giving most of their time to the earth plane. Ascended masters are those who have made the ascension from our humanity or that of some planet and turn and help individuals or, or group of individuals to make the ascension also here. Cosmic beings work with the whole humanity of a planet. The ascended masters and cosmic beings are beings of complete mastery and control of every electron in their beings and worlds. The ascended masters are a more advanced activity of life. Ascended masters are just like an extension of yourself. An ascended master is just like an extension of yourself. In calling to ascended masters, you are only calling to an advanced part of yourself. Life, a higher life form of yourself. Try to comprehend the surfaces that are being rendered that could not be done except by the assistance of the ascended masters. You ever been in a situation where you know man ain't had nothing to do with what might have happened for you, but something else allowed what you was trying to do to happen? I have. One master said, we don't care to frighten mankind, but we are, we are going into action. The ascended master's consciousness is the cosmic law. The ascended master's consciousness is the cosmic law. Their consciousness is self-luminous, intelligent substance. Ascended master's consciousness is a state of consciousness which knows only achievement and the means of attaining it. Ascended master consciousness is a state of consciousness which knows only achievement and the means of attaining it. At this cosmic cycle, very great assistance is given to us stepping upon the path. At this cosmic cycle, very great assistance has been given to us who are stepping upon the path. The law is permitting the masses to give their consciousness and substance, which is already qualified with a definite quality. Formerly, these qualities had to be drawn forth from the individualized presence of God through one's own efforts. That was the training given in the retreats. For instance, the student had to make enough application to his presence to release the action of the transmuting violet flame and transmute his own karma. While now, right here in the outer world, earth, and daily living, we have the privilege of calling to the presence or angels or whatever we exercise and then to the ascended master or masters whose special quality and activity of the sacred fire it is that we require or wish to draw forth. For instance, we can call to the, to the master, St. Germain, for his action of the transmuting violet flame, his momentum and power of it, which he has gained through the centuries. He will charge it into the student's being and world and through and around your four lower bodies. 
This is now freely given for the benefit of attainment of the student or cello, which is a tremendous assistance to anyone who will call, call it for. The same is true with other masters and their specific qualities and activities. Therefore, it is advantageous to know the various masters, special qualities, activities, and services to mankind at this time, as well as how to make the calls. You find somebody that knows. Certain ascended masters offered their ascended master consciousness to the students, to us. That is an action never done before in the outer world. That means that the students call the masters project some of their ascended master's consciousness into ours, <clears throat> into our being and into our world. This is done through the radiance or golden light or gold pill around the stream of light or silver cord from the presence. There is formed an activity similar to a funnel from the master to the student around this ray of light. In class, it was seen how energy or radiation in the room was like a funnel drawn into a golden radiance around the ray of light from the presence which had been intensified. The ascended master's consciousness is his full gathered momentum of attainment and accomplishments, which may have taken him centuries of time to attain. According to the acceptance, according to the acceptance will, the students have the fullness of it. The substance the ascended masters are supplying you with is a permanent action. Do you know what that means to you? Mankind long for assistance from each other. The ascended masters offer their assistance. They give assistance to mankind through radiation. What the ascended masters give us is their consciousness, love, or any quality. They never take back. It remains always yours. If, however, one is unable to hold sufficient harmony and abide in a state of consciousness so that you can utilize it, now it goes into the causal body. The masters in radiation bring that rate of vibration from the great silence. Sit still. <laughs> the substance, they have qualified to never vibrate at a lower rate. It is charged with their ascended master consciousness. Your emotional body absorbs that. What an ascended master charges into your world is his life. Mm. What an ascended master charges into your world is his life. Not a universal life. It is his power, his life qualified with some particular quality. <laughs> you cannot requalify the energy released to you by the ascended masters, but only that which you call for from your own presence. <sighs> the ascended masters have, uh, has offered their consciousness, so when you feel not quite able to release what is required or to cope with a situation, call for the ascended masters' consciousness. When you call to the presence, any one of the ascended masters becomes the authority in your world. To an ascended master, your life is the authority. Be natural. <laughs> Be natural. Be natural. S strip the feelings. Strip the ego of that something else outside of you as being authority to you. Your presence, your higher self, is the authority of you and your world. Ascended masters are the authority of groups. Cosmic beings are authority of the mass accumulation throughout the centuries. The great need of today is to feel the reality of ascended masters. Dismiss from the feeling world any consciousness that the ascended masters are not real. Ask the presence to clear away every doubt, thought, and feeling that stands between you and the higher, and the higher beings. The only difference between ascended ones and us is thought and feeling. The only difference between the ascended ones and us is thought and feeling. I'm going to repeat it again. The only difference between the, the higher beings and us is thought and feeling. Meditate, meditate, meditate. Be, by giving daily recognition and love to the different ascended ones, you gain a momentum by which you can have a response from them instantly. Also learn to determine each master by their distinct radiation. Green Man, Alcadil. Watch the feelings of the atomic structure as you give, as you give attention to the different masters. For instance, the cosmic beings, victory, harmony, and so forth represent those qualities to the earth, the people of earth. They are the governing power of the quality for this earth. An ascended master can be present, be tangible, yet unseen, but that does not make him any less real. Ascended masters are beings who have lived in embodiments in this physical world or on some other planet and ascended as Yahshua, Buddha, Krishna, and others have. 
they abide in the realms of light as he uh, as they do, as as they do now. They can and do sometimes partake of food in association with their students on earth, but just to give the feeling of equality to the student and not because of need or desire for food. Get on your altar. When they take food, it is instantly transmuted into light as it touches their throats, otherwise it will fall to the floor. They have no digestive organs, but do have a heart and bloodstream, which is light, golden in color. The heart, that focal point, is in the center of the body and not to the left side as a human being's. That light, ray, from the presence has taken the place of the bloodstream in the ascended being's bodies. When one becomes an ascended being, he has become the power of the I am. When one becomes an ascended being, you have become the power of the I am. When you become an ascended being, you have become the power of the I am. Above all masters stands the individualized focus of God. Above, above that stands the God flame. When the ascended masters work on earth or in its atmosphere, they are in what we term of an ascend, unascended being, the Christ self, higher mental body which contains the purified physical body. When they are busy at cosmic levels, they can project or build up a body, their luminous presence. They are not limited in this, but can have as many as are required in various places at one time. Uh, it's also known as macabre. <clears throat> Usually, when they appear to someone of mankind, it is in this type of body. It is different from their tangible ascended master body, which is of a higher rate of vibration and requires a step up in vibratory action of a person's physical body to withstand it. Whereas the vibratory action of the luminous presence and ordinary physical body can withstand. The ascended masters do not know everything. That is, that is retain everything in their consciousness, but they can instantly tune in and tap in and obtain whatever information is needed or required. Their power of qualification is always in divine order. In the ascended state, the beings do not hold in their consciousness cosmic intelligence, but can call it forth instantly. Unascended masters can do so also. Unascended masters can do so also. Unascended masters can do so also. Meditate. On the inner, the attitudes and response are quite different from the outer world and mankind's association with each other. At inner realms, when a being has an idea or plan to put into action and requires some other being's cooperation or assistance, it is offered to him without even having to ask. There are air currents, and in the ethers, there are tunnels through the atmosphere through which the ascended masters work. They pass through and use, the, and use these in their activities. An ascended master can pass through a wall or solid object very readily because his body is composed of pure electron and is vibrating at a much higher rate than physical substance. They also showed that in the matrix. <clears throat> physical substance is composed of a nucleus around which vibrate or rotate particles of a much denser nature. They are arranged similar to the planets around the sun in relation to size, leaving great space between through which the ascended master's bodies passes unobstructed. The masters are not nearly as far away as mankind think. Yahshua, Buddha, Krishna, Shiva, uh, Osiris <laughs> has appeared thousands of times to individuals since physical departure on the hill of Bethany. What enabled Moses to lead the people through the sea? He had contact with an ascended being who released power which controlled the sea, pushing back the water so the people could pass. On the opening day of the World Exposition in New York on April 30th, 1939, the Ascended Master St. Germain stood on the exposition grounds in his visible, tangible form with his mantle wrapped about him and that radiance which was there, thousands of people felt. Many students have subjected themselves to the Master's radiation, whereas the others of mankind did not, but went their own way, doing their own will, satisfying their own human desires, the desires of the outer self. And that's going on right now today. It is sometimes asked why the ascended masters appear to people of the outer world, in governmental and certain other positions, and not to the students and regular people who, is, who accept their reality and love them. When they appear in public or the individuals not on the conscious path or having knowledge and understanding, understanding and overstanding of the law, they are seen with the physical sight, 
but it is not known that they are ascended masters. They are seen with the physical sight, but it is not known that they are ascended masters. They come dressed in ordinary business clothes as well as a dressed person. <clears throat> that, is, that, is holy, that is a wholly different thing than the appearance to a conscious student knowing the law. There is always tremendous radiation and increased vibratory action when one appears. <clears throat> when an ascended master appears to those not knowing the law, he is permitted by the great law to withhold or hold within himself the greater part of his radiation mm. and only radiate out sufficiently to produce the results required and not more than those contacted can withstand or you get burned up. While with one having the understanding, understanding, and overstanding, the law does not permit him to withhold his radiation and unless a person has purified himself and gained sufficient self-control, <clears throat> it would not be mercy or kindness. Mercy is merciless. Because when a master appears, his tremendous energy intensifies everything that it contacts. If there are still undesirable qualities in the individual, those too will be intensified. Therefore, it will give him much to handle in the immediate future, perhaps more than you can manage. The ascended master do appear in visible, tangible bodies to mankind at times. They have appeared many times in the last 20 years, as well as through the centuries. They have appeared to various individuals holding responsible governmental positions in various countries and also in courts. They have walked the streets of large cities to release a radiation that prevented, <clears throat> that prevented disasters. On that occasion in 1933, when the banks were closed for three days, the Master St. Germain gave that assistance. He walked through the banks in certain cities, New York, Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, Chicago, thereby transmuting the discord and obstruction, and the banks opened again, a very great blessing to the people. Some students in the outer world who were intensified, who were in intensive training under the ascended masters were taken to ancient retreats in India, the Cave of Light. There, the cosmic beings known as the Divine Director demonstrated to them how he could control every electron of his body. He caused one hair on his head to rise, stand up, and extend forward in front of him and curl his end back. In Washington, D.C., St. Germain appeared at a com communistic meeting with a few of his students yet in physical bodies. They entered a certain building and he approached the locked door, caused it to open, and stood there in the council room with his students who had followed him. The communists attempted to pull their guns, but their arms fell at their sides, limp and trembling. St. Germain spoke to them, issued a fiat that perhaps they would never forget, that so charged the room, the very atoms of it, that never again can discord manifest in that place, and so it was. At a certain point on the path, there comes the realization of the tremendous love and assistance the masters give, give us, and, the, and, and we feel that there is nothing that we can give the master, yet there is the action of the law, the recognition and, and outpouring of love to the master increases their radiance and brilliance. Also, calling to the masters or your ancestors or your angels gives them an, an opportunity to act or render service to you which would not be afforded them otherwise and that service expands their own light. For instance, some years ago when the discarnates and a certain percent of the psychic substance were being removed from America by the recognition, acceptance, and of love poured to the goddess of light, we were told this increase, the, this will increase the natural radiance around us, around our ascended body to a marked degree. After this cycle, you will not find such assistance as given at this time. Mm. The assistance being given by the ascended masters is as if you were in a well and they put down the rope. Man could not have lived beyond the age of 12 years had it not been for the assistance of the ascended beings. That was before this activity came forth through which so much purification of the earth has taken place. A person cannot get free from psychic entanglements without assistance. Radiation from ascended masses because they will not let enough energy flow through from the presence. Wow. What does a master do, do to wrong vibrations or actions sent to him? What does a master do <laughs> to wrong vibrations or, en or energy sent to him? He is all blazing light, and when they come to that light, they rebound and go back to their source, unless the master consciously transmutes them. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> know what you send out? 
this he sometimes does for his students to assist them <laughs> until they can be taught the action of the law for themselves. Likewise, the discord from mankind on Earth is held within Earth's atmosphere by the pressure of light from interstellar space. When reading the master's discourses and one, and one finds a seeming discrepancy, it is the two forms of activity of some subject, the inner and the outer activity, which are sometimes of reverse action. Unless one is open-minded and reads with kindness in the feeling, he can't see at all. <laughs> Words are but cups receptacles for what the consciousness wants to convey and what the consciousness can hold. From an inner standpoint, they are very inadequate and even crude. They are understood and interpreted according to one's own consciousness and understanding, and much of the time, not at all as to what they were meant to convey. So many words are often used to get over an idea, whereas a picture will convey what thousands of words would not. Words are the lowest medium of communication. Words are the lowest medium of communication. Music, the universal language, is a higher form. At inner levels, the masters seldom, if ever, use words. They communicate by flashing their light, one to the other. They use thought and feeling and light rays. It is on the other. It is, it is on the order of telepathy, which is the which is the closet we have to it, the closest we have to it. When reading the ascended masters' words, you can ask their presence to illumine the meaning to you and bring it into outer activity. That's all I'm doing now. We should become and be the connection for the light and flames of the ascended masters to flow through us like a pipe through which water flows. You have heard the saying, God needs a body. <laughs> Believe that. Meaning a physical body through which to operate and work in the outer world. That is the law by which the present and the ascended masters manifest in the physical world. Although an ascended master can and does sometimes lower their vibratory rate of their body to a point where it is visible to physical sight, we can call to them to charge us with their cosmic flame. The masters give this instruction through the ones they have prepared to be channels or contacts. Sawu is a channel and a contact. Some was given by the use of the light and sound ray and some by the visible, tangible presence of the master. Some by flashing the word in letters or some by flashing the letters, by, some, y'all pardon me, Mercury messed with my tongue. Some by flashing the words in letters of living light before the messenger and he reading them aloud to the audience. And later, some through impressions in the feelings combined with clairvoyance and clairaudience. All is done in a perfectly natural manner in full conscience with full conscious control and operation of all the faculties. No hypnotic or trance state. By light and sound ray, it's meant that the master projects a ray of light from his realm to a person or persons and speaks through that. He can also be seen through it. To those in the physical, it appears as if he were only a short distance away, as if in the next room or next story or so above. The time has come when no longer will mankind go to retreats or fraternities or lodges in their physical bodies for instruction and initiation. We will get it done right here, where we at, in our house and homes. But we will receive it right here in the outer world and everyday living. A number of the retreats have been opened so that we can go there in our final bodies while we sleep. When we accept going to these places or retreats, we will retain the memory more and more and bring it back with us. With that, that was it, our next section will be tomorrow. Uh, like, share, subscribe. If you want to sow a seed to the information being sown, my um, cash app is dollar sign, S-A-I-W-O-O-D-A-G-O-D. That's dollar sign, Sawu the God. Um, love and light, stillness and blessings, health and wholeness. One.